All right, so we're going to have a quick look at the connections on G3 and just a basic setup. So on the back of G3, you'll have your main input, you'll have the auxiliary out, uh, which you can connect your tuner. Then we have the 12 effects loops. Now this can be configured in a number of ways, but we'll get into that later. But those 12 effects loops are where you connect all of your effects, your, your amplifiers effects loop for the four cable method, all that stuff. Then we have our two outputs. So we have the isolated uh, second output using a really nice audio transformer and then the main earthed output. Then we have our two expression pedal uh, controller inputs. So these send expression pedal information to the uh, pre-gain and post-gain features on G3, but also they send MIDI CC information to your MIDI control pedals. Then we have our TRS remote switches. So we have four remote switches in G3 in two pairs, and those pairs are isolated. So that'll allow you to control things like the switching in your amplifier, or if you have uh, an effects pedal that has a remote tap tempo input, then you can use um, the uh, remote switches to control that. And finally, we have the bank manager input. So on G3, you can assign the bank button to either a foot switch on G3, uh, or you can assign it to the um, external uh, foot switch input. That means you can have all your 14 presets or actually up to 28 presets, we'll get to that in a bit, and have a separate switch to control your banks. Now, there are 99 banks on G3 with up to 28 presets per bank. So I'll let you work that out. So yes, there's a whole heap of presets available. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at the menu and how we program G3, and it's really simple. Um, one of the great features in G2 is there's no store button. Uh, everything, every time you press the button, G2 would remember that. So of course, we've carried that through to G3. So on the top panel, we have our soft touch buttons, okay? And this is basically the top line programming, and most of the programming you'll do will be here. So I can go to any preset, um, turn on the outputs. So output uh, one is the deluxe reverb. And then output two is the matchless. So I have them both on. And then I can change the phase of output two. And output two is of course isolated, so we can reverse the phase and there's no earth loop issues. Okay, so then we have the uh, remote switch buttons here. And with, then we have our um, post gain and pre gain. So again, it's the same uh, in G2, where we're able to control our uh, gain staging. Okay, so the difference though with G2 is in the post gain, post gain is a true uh, stereo voltage controlled amplifier. Okay, so with stereo effects, um, it actually has two amplifiers on the output that you are controlling the volume of. In G2, the post gain was mono and you would have to move it before your stereo effects. So now post gain sits after everything and yes, a proper stereo amplifier. And pre gain sits before everything. So it enables me to control the volume into G3. It also acts as a buffer. So you think of the pre gain as a variable buffer booster. Um, yeah, and then we have our effects loops. So for example, if I want to turn on um, my DNM drive, I simply choose the preset that I want to go to. Um, DNM drive is in loop three. And then I turn that on. So there, without it. With it. Uh, let's put on a little bit of uh, analog delay with that one. So that sound is now stored. Okay, I don't have to press any store buttons. That sound is now stored. And I move to another preset 
and I've turned off the tunnel recall and it's just the DNM drive. <laughs> So it really is as simple as that. Simply choose the preset uh, that you want to set up and then turn on the loops and the functions that you want to associate with that preset. And that's it. So the full cable method is really simple. You simply think of your preamp in your amplifier the way you would any other pedal, okay? And we're just gonna put it in a loop uh, in the position that I want to have it uh, in my effects chain. So let's say I want to have my overdrives and everything before my amplifier's preamp, and then I want my delays and reverbs in the loop. All I do is I set up G3 to have the effects that I want before the preamp. Then I choose whatever loop I'm going to use for the preamp. The send from that loop goes into the amplifier's input. The effect send from the amplifier goes into the G3 loop return. And what you've done there is taken the preamp of your amplifier and put it in a loop of G3. Now from there, all the loops after the preamp are effectively in your amplifier's effects loop. Now from that point, we go from the output of G3 and that plugs into your amplifier's effects return. So the only thing you need to remember when you're doing the full cable method is whatever loop you've chosen on G3 to be your amplifier's preamp, you must include that loop on all of your presets. Otherwise, you will be bypassing your preamp and going straight into the effects return. But once you've set up the effects loops, simply turn on the output that's gonna feed the signal back into your amp's effects return, and you're done. Okay, so that takes care of all of our basically top level programming, okay? All the buttons that are available on the top of G3. But for the deeper editing of presets, we have a deeper menu, okay? And we enter that menu by this little button here on the left of our LCD screen. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna show you how to turn on stereo pairs. So on the back of G3, you notice the 12 effects loops, okay? And that's what we plug all of our effects into, the send into the input of the effects and the output of the effects into the loop return. All right, and we turn on those loops by the uh, soft touch effects buttons. But with the stereo loops, what I wanted to do, we noticed with G2, we noticed that um, we had two stereo uh, effects loops. We had loops nine and 10 with stereo, but we rarely use them um, when we we're doing board builds for people. However, we kept getting requests um, to have more and more stereo loops. So I thought what we'll do is we'll give you the choice to set up as many or as few stereo loops as you like. Um, and you do that by pairing loops. So for example, I've got the Mercury 7 here by Meris, which is, I love this reverb pedal. And I've got it set up to be stereo in loop uh, 12 and 11. So the send from 11 goes into the left input, send from 12 goes into the right input. The output, left output goes into the return of 11 right output goes into the return of 12. And setting it up as a stereo loop is really easy. So we're on our preset here. We go into our deep edit button. And then you see we have our menu list here. Name, MIDI, expression pedals, loop order, stomp box, trails, parallel, tap tempo, hidden preset to the global setup. So we'll get to all the other ones in a bit. So what I wanna do is go into the global setup, okay? so. If we have a look here, we have our the bottom four buttons. We've got up, down, side to side, and that's how we navigate the menu, okay? So I've gone down here to global setup. Now I'm gonna go across into stereo pairs, across again. So here are our stereo pairs, 11 and 12, nine and 10, seven and eight, five and six, three and four, and one and two. So we can actually have up to six stereo effects in G3, but I just want, Actually, I'm gonna have two in this one. I've got the timeline set up in stereo and the Mercury 7. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna turn on 11 and 12 in stereo. And you'll see the little light comes above 11 and 12 and that says those two loops are paired together. Okay, so I'll go down to nine and 10 and I'll pair those together now as well. And that's done. I simply press the um, menu, the deep menu button to come out and now, if 
I press either button 11 or 12, that's going to turn on the uh, reverb in stereo. <laughs> Add a bit of stereo delay. So that's it, and it really is that simple. You can set up as many or few stereo effects as you like. The idea is to just give you that option. You know, if you want to have four stereo effects, you'll still have four mono effects. If you want one stereo effect, then you've still got 10 mono effects. So it just gives you the ultimate flexibility. I forgot to do this, but I've got to show you guys this because it's really cool. So normally, unless I'm doing parallel or anything like that, the loops travel from right to left, um, one through to 12. Uh, but a lot of people love to reorder the sequence in which they're pedals go because it can give you so many different great sounds. So here's what we do. At the moment I've got a sound with loops 2 which is the overdrive and that's going into the chorus and that's going into the delay and that's going to sound like this. So I'm going to mirror that preset on this preset here. Okay, so it's exactly the same sound. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reorder the loops. I'm going to show you how easy it is. I just go into the menu, I go into loop order, go across, and you see the numbers written one, two, three, four. All I do now is I enter the loops in the order that I want them to go. So you see the numbers change now going eight, five, two, into four, and that's it. So here's the original sound. <laughs> And here is the loops reversed. There you go.